YouTube. I've been having problems with the diverter valve on the starboard side, slow to respond. Sometimes I actually have to manually go back and flip the lever to allow the exhaust to go out of the side. <clears throat> so I decided to pull the harness out and the diverters are out and replace the O-rings on the diverter valves. And so now I want to test the harness and each one of the solenoids. So hooking up the main power wire through the circuit breaker to a positive and then wire in the ground and then I'm going to use a, um, a small pin for the, uh, the low amperage wire. Of course on their website has a diagram how to test the solenoids and so I'll do that later on. But for now I'm going to take a small jumper wire and there's a pin at the end of it that I've extracted out of one of the connectors. Now we just got to simply apply power to that red disconnect wire and each one of the valves should work. I had taken the uh, one of the diverter valves apart here to kind of check the valve to see if it's free and clear. And bolts seem to be pretty good even though I still say the starboard is a has a little more drag. Uh, when operating the diverter than that of the port side. Um, I'm still not sure that uh, I don't have a, a bad solenoid. But we'll test each one independently here in a little bit. But for now, I think we're about ready to perform the test. So with both diverters hooked up, power to the plus power, to the battery, I'm sorry, and then the ground. Now we just got to apply power to the small red wire. Okay, now the one that you're looking at in front of you is going to be the port side that's operating freely, but the one in the back um, is the starboard side that I'm having a slow response on. So what I think I'm going to do here is I'll swap them left to right, and that at least will check the connectors in the harness as well as the butts places. Okay, the same test now with the diverters in different positions. Now as you can see the previous port side is in the back and my slow responding starboard is in front of the camera. And it once again is slow to respond. So next I'm going to actually bypass the harness entirely. So using the diagram on the web that Corsa provides I'm going to apply power to the white wire constantly and I'm going to apply, provide a ground to the battery constantly and then again I'm going to use the trigger wire to the red and <clears throat> check the solenoid on each one of the diverters accordingly. This is the three connector diverters. Some of the older units have four. Okay, so now I've got ground wire and the power wire hooked up to the white constantly. Now I just need to use the red wire to trigger the solenoid. There's the white wire, there's the black wire, and this one goes to the red. So this is my starboard exhaust diverter valve. See how it's slow to respond. So now I'm going to pull the uh, E-clip or C-clip off 
and check the solenoid with the diverter disconnected. Now I've made several attempts at adjusting the length of the starting point at which the solenoid rests with the diverter in its unpowered state or against the stop. So it would appear that the solenoid is working normally here and that would suggest that perhaps I have a restriction in the diverter valve itself. And I don't disagree with that. Um, and I think what I'm going to do here is at some point in time before I put the system back into the boat, I'm probably going to uh, swap the solenoids from the port to the starboard and the starboard to the port. So here's the, the good uh, port side diverter assembly, and I'm going to run the same test. Tighten the pin up a little bit with some wire cutters. Last but not least, my trigger wire. So here we go again. And as you can see, this port side diverter, everything about it, is strong, fast, efficient. None of the wires are getting hot. And the wire, well, incidentally, the wires were not getting hot when I would leave it powered up on the starboard. Uh, diverter valve either. So, <clears throat> so that basically tells me that my connections on the three pin connectors to the from the harness to the diverter valves are good. It tells me that the butt splices in the center of the harness are good and that my problem lies either in the solenoid or the diverter valve itself for the, for the starboard uh, diverter valve. One last test. As you can see, the starboard exhaust is significantly slower than that of the port. And that's how you test the course of the diverter system. Thanks for watching.